welcome back to the show that informs you and discusses the issues. Front Page Jacksonville on Hot 106.5. Powerful information from a powerful <laughs> woman who also referenced some other powerful women here in our community, yeah. Angie Nixon, Tracy Davis. Mm -hmm. And it's an excellent segue, Wanda, because mm -hmm. as I mentioned a moment ago, October is National Women's Small Business Month. I did not know that. There's so many. Yeah, I well, didn't know well, that. Well, go ahead and put the headphones <laughs> on because we have Dr. Felicia Phillips on the line with us right now awesome. who's going to talk with us about this Awareness Month. Dr. Phillips, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. How are you? Doing excellent. Thank you so much. Now, Dr. Phillips, Wanda and I, neither of us knew that October was National Women's Small Business Month. Talk to us about the significance of this particular Awareness Month. You know, I think most people overlook the fact that women-owned small businesses represent about $1.8 trillion in revenue wow. in the United States. Yeah. And they have they are responsible for more than 12 million jobs. Mm. So that's pretty significant. Right? right. And the biggest challenge is, is that we still have a lot of ground to cover, True. even with that. That's an excellent point, because I did some research. I wanted to find out how many women small owned businesses there are here in Jacksonville. I couldn't find that number. Now, I was able to see that there are nearly 18,000 small businesses in Jacksonville, but yes. I wasn't able to niche it down specifically to women. So when you speak about there being more ground to cover, you are absolutely right. So what are some of the benefits that National Women's Small Business Month can help women better understand as they either seek to grow their business or start their first business? So, great question. I'm going to break that down in two parts. Sure. Um, the first thing is, if you are looking to start a business, one of the first things that I will tell you is that the Small Business Administration, which you can access by going to sba.gov, mm -hmm. has tons of opportunities for small businesses. And if you are an existing small business owner, you can also go to that same website because what I want to encourage you to do is to get the certification for the woman-owned small business. It's the WOSB certification. Now, the reason I'm telling both groups to go to SBA.gov is because for the individuals who are looking to start a business, everything you need to know about your small business is there. And they can go to the local small business office there in Jacksonville, make an appointment, go down there. There are tons of free classes. Mm. They also what they have what they call APEX, A-P-E-X. And what APEX does is that it gives you the resources and the tools you need to do business with the government and to make sure that you are securing a proper foundation for your small business. Here's what we know. Most women go into business out of necessity and not opportunity. Sure. And so when you do that, you're very excited, right? So you're kind of leading with your heart. But what we know is that does not pay the bill. Huh? Come on. <laughs> Say it again, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. does not pay the bill. <laughs> right. So we want to make sure that foundationally that they have their business set up properly. You know, the worst thing is to get excited about getting some business and then realize that you don't have everything in place. And so you can't take advantage of the opportunity. And then that second piece for your existing small yes. business owner, mm -hmm. what I want them to know is by getting the WSB certification, that moves them up the food chain when it comes to contracts and opportunities. Mm, right. And that's that the biggest huge. thing. We want to make sure our pipelines are filled. Yeah. Now, when you speak about contracts, um, <clears throat> is that like doors wide open, government contracts, yes. municipal contracts, et cetera? All of it. Yeah. All of it. Mm -hmm. So here, here's the beautiful thing for women on small businesses. So when you think about federal contracting, and this is why I mentioned the SBA, it could be very complex. But between the SBA and their, um, they have what they call the SBDC, and that's the Small Business Development Center. Um, they have maybe two or three different organizations that specifically help small businesses. Because there are so many nuances, like you have to get your business registered in SAM.gov and all of these things, 
I want people to know the right way Mm -hmm. and not listen to others who say, oh, I can help you get, you know, small business, uh, federal contracting. I can help you get contract. Go to the source. (laughs) Right, right. And and that is so key. here's the other thing. It's free. Yeah, and, and that is so key because to your point, uh, I spend probably more time than I should on TikTok, but nonetheless, <laughs> <laughs> I find myself there and, you know, on social media, you have a lot of different people who say, oh, well, I can teach you how to do X, Y, Z if you pay X, Y, Z to right. buy my course to show you how to get government contracts and, and this, that, and a third. Yeah. So with the things that you're sharing, Dr. Phillips, that women can do to properly build a strong foundation for their business in an effort to grow a successful and sustainable business, Mm -hmm. uh, how can they get in contact with you if they would like to get additional guidance and information? And and before she answers that, I have one question for you, Ms. Phillips. The process of of doing that certification, how long is it? It's intense, right? And, (laughs) And I do want to tell your listeners this. Because they can get certified on both sides. They can get certified with SBA Mm -hmm. or they can get certified with um, the Women Business Enterprise um, and the National um, Minority Supplier Diversity Council. Let me quickly explain the two. One is that everything I told you with SBA is for the government side, but it also applies to just getting your business in order. Everything with NMSDC and WeBank applies to corporations. Right. Mm -hmm. And some even some nonprofit organizations want that certification. And so that's that's that side of it. And for their certification, it is a cost. So federal is free to work with corporations. There is a cost for that certification. Is is that an annual or one time cost? No, it is an annual. You have to renew annually. Okay. Good to know. And then if someone would like to follow up with you to get more information on how they can be a part of your network, because Dr. <laughs> Phillips, you know, your net worth is attached to your network. Come and on so down. if somebody That's wants to get true. if somebody wants to get a part of your network, how can they go about doing so? Super easy. They can go to one million dreams foundation dot O R G. One million dreams foundation dot O R G. Well, Dr. Phillips, I just want maybe one or two dreams. I I don't need a million. So I'm I'm going to follow you so I can tap in to some of those millions of dreams you're talking about. Right. There you go. There you go. That's our goal. Yes. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today on Front Page Jacksonville National Women's Small Business Month. Though the month is in October, please know and understand you are not limited to just the month of October to tap in as a small business owner as a woman because Dr. Felicia Phillips just put you on game. So once again, Dr. Phillips, for someone who may have just tuned in before we get out of here, (laughs) before, uh, if someone wanted to say, you know what, I want to be a business owner, but I want to do it the right way. Guide our sisters one more time in 30 seconds. What are the steps they need to take? First thing they need to do is go to sba.gov. And what they want to look at is how to register in SAM.gov. First thing, the next thing you want to do is once you look at everything you need to do, go to your secretary of state and register the business name. Make sure the address is a proper address, not a P.O. box, not a UPS store address, a physical address, which you can get by getting a virtual office. And then once you get your certificate, you want to go to um, irs.gov mm-hmm. to get your EIN right. so that you can now open your business bank account. For us, that's called uh, registering with sunbiz.org. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Well, Dr. Phillips, yeah. thank you so much. We greatly appreciate you hanging out with us on thank Front you. Page Jacksonville. Great information. Front Page Jacksonville resumes on Hot 106.5.